If you're looking to keep your animals healthy, productive, and most importantly, affordable to feed, you've come to the right place. Maybe you want to get rid of genetically modified abominations like modern corn and soy that are covered in glyphosate, which is linked to cancer. You're done giving your money to companies that celebrate poisoning you and your family every time you give them a dollar. Or maybe you're just wanting to learn about options for your farm or homestead that are economical. In this video, you'll learn about 20 alternative feed that might just save your sanity and your wallet. Now, some of these might not be available in your neck of the woods, but we included them because they're commonly used around the globe and our audience is global. So let's jump right into how you can escape the feed matrix and save money with these alternatives. Number one, brewers and distillers grains. Who knew your beer and whiskey could do more than just cheer you up after a long day? Brewers and distillers grains have a deep-rooted significance in brewing and distilling cultures, particularly in Europe and North America. These byproducts of beer and whiskey production have been repurposed for livestock feed, reflecting a tradition of sustainability and resourcefulness. In regions like Germany and Scotland, where brewing and distilling are cultural staples, these grains have contributed to the efficient use of resources and the support of local agriculture. High in B vitamins and minerals like phosphorus and magnesium, these grains offer a moderate energy source, good protein, and low fat. Perfect for cattle, goats, and sheep. Just make sure to use it quickly to prevent mold. Number two, insects and larvae. Insects as animal feed might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they've been gaining traction since the early 2000s. Insects have long been a part of traditional diets and livestock feeds in many cultures, particularly in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. For centuries, cultures in these regions have recognized the nutritional benefits of insects, integrating them into both human and animal diets. The modern resurgence of insects as feed reflects a return to ancient practices of sustainable protein. Researchers and adventurous farmers have discovered that insects like black soldier, fly larvae, mealworms, and crickets are packed with protein, fats, and essential minerals like calcium and phosphorus. High in vitamin B12, insects are a super sustainable feed option. Best for chickens and pigs, just know that they need to be raised in a warm environment in order for this to work. Now, there are a lot of bad information out there about feed nutrition that have unalived animals. If you had any horror stories or if you found some successful alternatives that work wonders for your livestock and has saved you big money, share your experiences in the comments below. Your stories could help save someone's favorite animal or inspire them to try something new. Let's get the conversation going and support each other in making smarter, healthier feed choices for our animals. Number three, molasses. Molasses, the sweet byproduct of sugar production, has been a hit since 500 BC in India. Molasses also holds cultural significance in Brazil, the Caribbean, and southern United States, where sugar cane production is a major industry. Traditionally used in human cuisine and livestock feed, molasses represents the ingenuity of turning a byproduct into a valuable resource. It has been a staple feed ingredient in warm and tropical agricultural practices. Loaded with calcium, magnesium, potassium, and vitamin B6, it's the candy your cattle, sheep, and goats will love. Just remember, a little goes a long way. Overfeeding molasses can cause bloating and diarrhea, which no one wants to clean up. Number four, kelp and seaweed. And no, we're not suggesting you turn your farm into a sushi bar. Coastal farmers have been feeding kelp and seaweed to their livestock for thousands of years, particularly in Scotland, Norway, Japan, and Korea. These marine plants are not only dietary staples, but also vital for livestock feed in these regions. Their use reflects a deep understanding of the ocean's resources and their application in sustaining both human and animal life. Packed with iodine, calcium, potassium, and vitamins A, C, and E, this oceanic treat is great for cattle, goats, and sheep. Just keep an eye on those iodine levels. You don't want your animals glowing in the dark. Number five, field peas. Ancient civilizations knew what they were doing with field peas. 
These high protein, high lysine legumes have historical significance in African, European, and Asian agriculture. They have been a staple crop due to their ability to fix nitrogen in the soil, improving soil health, and supporting sustainable farming practices. Their use as livestock feed reflects their nutritional value and agricultural importance. Rich in phosphorus, potassium, and B vitamins like thiamine and niacin, they're ideal for pigs, chickens, and cattle. Just balance them out with other proteins, or you might end up with a bunch of picky eaters. Number six, cheese wet. Think back to the classic nursery rhyme about Little Miss Muffet and her curds and whey. Cheese whey is a byproduct of cheese making and has cultural roots in major dairy producing regions like Europe. It has been used since the Middle Ages, reflecting the tradition of maximizing resources in cheese making communities. Whey's use as animal feed showcases the ingenuity of dairy farmers in utilizing every part of the production process. This byproduct is packed with calcium, phosphorus, and vitamins B2 and B12. It's fantastic for pigs and chickens, but make sure it's fresh and stored cold. Spoiled whey will make your animal's gut go bubbly. Number 7. Fruit and Vegetable Waste Your compost pile will be your animal's new best friend. The use of fruit and vegetable waste as livestock feed is deeply rooted in ancient agricultural practices worldwide. Historically, farmers have aimed to minimize waste and maximize resource use. In modern times, this practice is a testament to the sustainable practices of regions with large-scale fruit and vegetable production. Nutritional levels will vary greatly on the produce used, but it's still a good option best for cattle, goats, and sheep, with lesser benefits for pig and poultry development. Just don't throw in the moldy stuff unless you want a farm full of sick animals. Number 8. Sunflower Meal Since 3000 BC, sunflower has been shining bright under the cultivation of indigenous tribes of North America. In countries like Ukraine and Russia, sunflower seeds and thereby products have been used for both human consumption and livestock feed, reflecting the agricultural heritage and economic reliance on sunflower production. High in B vitamins like niacin and folic acid and minerals such as magnesium and phosphorus, this meal provides moderate energy and protein. Ideal for pigs, chickens, and cattle, but don't overdo it. Too much fiber can turn your efficient feed into a diet disaster. Number 9. Alfalfa Alfalfa has been a crucial forage crop since ancient times with its origins in Iran and the Middle East. Its cultural significance lies in its role in ancient agricultural systems where it was prized for its high nutritional value and soil enhancing properties. Its spread to Europe and North America highlights its importance in global farming practices. Alfalfa is a powerhouse of iron, calcium, magnesium, and vitamins A, D, and E. Alfalfa is perfect for cattle, goats, and sheep. Just introduce it slowly, unless you want to deal with some very gassy animals. Number 10. Hydroponic Fodder Why wait for the perfect growing season? Hydroponic fodder, typically sprouted barley or wheat, has gained cultural relevance in regions with limited arable land such as the Middle East. This modern technique reflects innovative agricultural practices aimed at maximizing food production in challenging environments. It represents a blend of tradition and technology in feeding livestock. High in vitamins A, C, E, and B complex vitamins and minerals like calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus, it's ideal for cattle, goats, and sheep. Just keep it clean. Moldy sprouts are a no-go. If you're learning a lot from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on saving money and discovering funding opportunities tailored for farmers and landowners like you. Number 11. Barley With historical and cultural significance, barley holds as one of the earliest domesticated grains, particularly in Europe and the Middle East for both human diets and livestock feed for millennia. Its role in brewing and traditional farming systems underscores its long-standing agricultural value. Rich in B vitamins like niacin and thiamine, and minerals like manganese and selenium, barley offers carbohydrates, moderate protein, and low fat. Best for pigs, chickens, and cattle, but balance it out. Nutrient deficiencies are no joke. Number 12. Oats 
Oats have been a cornerstone of European culture, especially in Scotland and Ireland, where they've been cherished since the Bronze Age. From traditional dishes like Scottish oat cakes to their role as a dependable feed, oats have woven themselves into the fabric of regional agriculture, proving their worth and versatility over millennia. High in B vitamins, particularly thiamine and pantothenic acid, and minerals like manganese and phosphorus, oats provide energy, moderate protein, and fiber. Perfect for goat, cattle, and sheep. Just make sure they're properly processed. Number 13. Meat Waste Talk about recycling. The use of meat waste for livestock feed has cultural roots in regions with strong meat processing industries, such as North America and Europe. This practice reflects a commitment to waste reduction, ensuring that every part of the animal like the offal and trimmings are utilized. High in protein, essential amino acids, vitamins B12 and B6, and minerals like iron and zinc, it's best for pigs and poultry due to being omnivorous. But remember, proper heat processing is key. Reducing contamination risk is your friend. Also make sure that meat waste does not match the species consuming it. Number 14. Fish meal. Fish meal has been a vital feed ingredient in coastal regions since the 19th century, particularly in Scandinavia and South America. Its use reflects the importance of fishing industries in these areas and their efforts to maximize the use of fish byproducts in supporting livestock nutrition. High in essential amino acids, omega-3 fatty acids, and minerals like calcium and phosphorus, it's also packed with vitamins A, D, and B12. Best for young pigs, chickens, and ruminants, but wean them off two months before processing. Nobody likes fishy meat. This also works well as a cheap protein for breeding stock that will not be tasted. Number 15. Copra Meal Tropical paradise for your livestock. Copra, also known as coconut meal, used throughout Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. Copra is rich in fiber, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and vitamins E and K. Perfect for pigs, chickens, and ruminants, but balance it out to avoid nutrient imbalances since this is mostly a filler ingredient. Number 16. Peanut Meal a crucial feed ingredient in places like West Africa and the southeastern United States, peanut meal underpins both agricultural practices and economic stability as a byproduct of peanut oil extraction, rich in niacin, thiamine, folate, and minerals like magnesium and phosphorus. It's best as a protein for pigs, chickens, and cattle. Just watch out for aflatoxins from mold. They're like the peanut butter of doom. Number 17. Rice Bran Rice bran, originating in Asia, particularly in Japan, China, and India, has been a staple feed ingredient for livestock. Its cultural significance lies in its role in traditional rice-based agricultural systems, where maximizing the use of every part of the rice plant is a long-standing practice. This byproduct is a nutritional powerhouse, boasting moderate protein levels, high carbohydrate content, and a decent amount of healthy fats. It's also packed with B vitamins like niacin and thiamine, plus essential minerals such as phosphorus, potassium, and magnesium, making it perfect for pigs, chickens, and cattle. Just stabilize it properly, or it'll go rancid faster than you can say sushi. Number 18, Sorghum Grain. Sorghum has been a staple crop in Africa for thousands of years, valued for its drought-resistant qualities. Its cultural significance is tied to its role in traditional African diets and farming practices, reflecting its importance in food security and sustainability. Sorghum is high in B vitamins like niacin and thiamine, and minerals like iron and phosphorus. Sorghum provides energy and moderate protein best for pigs, chickens, and cattle, but proper processing is essential for digestibility. Number 19, millet. Similar to sorghum, millet has been a crucial crop in Africa and Asia for millennia, used in both human diets and as livestock feed. Its cultural importance is rooted in its adaptability to arid climates and its role in traditional agricultural systems, highlighting its resilience and nutritional value. Rich in B vitamins, especially niacin and riboflavin, and minerals like magnesium and phosphorus, millet provides energy, moderate protein, and fiber. 
Millet is best for chickens, pigs, and ruminants, but balance it out for a complete diet. Number 20. Triticale. This grain is a relatively modern crop developed in the mid-20th century, represents the intersection of traditional farming and scientific innovation. Its cultural significance lies in its creation to combine the best qualities of wheat and rye, aiming to improve food security and agricultural efficiency in various regions. It's also rich in B vitamins like niacin and folic acid and minerals such as manganese and phosphorus. It's a good source of energy, moderate protein and fiber. Perfect for pigs, chickens and cattle, but be aware of its quality variability. Now, if you're looking for trusted feed companies that I personally trust, be sure to check out the links in the description below. These companies offer non-GMO and USDA certified organic complete feed for a variety of livestock. By choosing these options, you're ensuring the best for your animals and that your family and customers won't be indirectly consuming toxic, cancer-causing pesticides. As feed costs continue to rise, exploring alternative feed becomes essential for maintaining the health and productivity of livestock. These 20 alternative feed offer various health benefits and can be more cost effective than traditional options. By integrating these alternatives into feeding programs, you can improve your livestock's nutrition and manage your expenses more effectively. Always consult with a livestock nutritionist to ensure the nutritional requirements of your animals are met and to avoid any potential health issues.